Hey, YouTube is Goddess Yaxi. Hey, subscribers, and thanks to all the new subscribers. I'm doing a new show recap. So, they've gotten into season six. So, if you like my recaps or my reviews and want to make comments, just comment below or any suggestions or anything, make the comments in the the comment section below. Like the video if you like what i'm saying or like my recap and subscribe and tap the bell so that you can get reminders or get when i release a new video so we're doing before the 90 days season six episode one decided to do the show because it's pretty interesting and i used to watch like other other um the 90 days fiance stuff but i just never reviewed the show so first episode we have some couples we have amanda and ranvan we have gino and i keep i kept calling her all types of names jasmine Every time I wrote her name down, I kept calling her Jennifer, Jessica. Her name is Jasmine, though. And then we have Riley and Violet. And then we have Tyre and Camilla so far. They're going to add some other people in the later episodes. But thus far, this is who we have. And then we have David. David and Sheila, too. Those are the people we have. So the first couple that they, that they have... Um, person that they talk with on the first beginning of the episode is Amanda. So Amanda's talking about how she lost her husband. He passed away from cancer a year ago and she has two children and she was with him for eight years, married to him eight years or whatever. And just talking about her experience with the fact that he like got sick and he started feeling bad and he didn't know what it was. He thought he had pneumonia. They checked him out and then he ended up having cancer all over his body and he needed chemo they said that he was gonna have a certain amount at first but then once they basically put him into the hospital things like that and he got the prognosis come to find out he only had 10 days after the, the like 10 like 10 days after the prognosis he passed on she waited three days after that to tell her children about him and then you know she's just really sad because she had to tell her tell her children about the fact that their dad was not coming back and he was how he was in heaven but then the son their son or whatever her son was basically like really uh, like thinking like he would be able to come back from heaven and come come back anytime he wanted which technically in in a sense in spirits his spirit probably visits so maybe he's seen the spirit of, of the dad you never know because kids actually see spirits and ghosts and things like that sometimes we don't see it as adults but children have that have that mystique about themselves where the world hasn't gotten to them so they're able to they're able to be tapped into the spiritual world and they're able to see stuff sometimes so maybe he's actually seen the dad and that's why i keep saying asking about him coming back and maybe he's seen him or something never know with children so basically um she talks about how she met um um ranvan ranzan see i be saying people's names wrong people you know i think his name is ranzvan ranzvan so she was talking about how she was on tiktok you know after what happened with her her husband and him passing on and the fact that that she was um on social media on her friend TikTok and she was basically challenging this guy or whatever and the guy that she was challenging or whatever he lost but he was being really funny so she sent him this flower it really didn't cost that much and then from there then they started talking and then he was talking about how beautiful she looked because she sent a picture of him uh, her him like basically what she looked like and he was like oh I don't want you talking to nobody else and then from there she just got in a relationship I'm like girl first of all you don't even know him so how are you already jumping already on social media talking about that's my man already girl she acting like she a teenager because you know when you were a teenager and you talk to a boy and you liked him or what have you'll be like oh and he'll talk to you and he said, I like you. Okay, we go together. That's just basically how she acting. Like, we go together now. Like, you don't even know him. Like, girl, you just just lost your lost somebody. And rest in paradise to him from cancer. He it was only been a year. And you already talking to someone else. Dang girl, she rush rushy. Like, girl, you need to relax. Chill out. Oh, so, she basically is acting like she's never been in a relationship but she, i guess it's puppy love for her or something like that and he's 26 years old and he's from romania 
And she says that he's very silly and dorky. And basically, in a few days, she's going to visit him in Romania. And she'll be there for three weeks. And she doesn't want her children to think anything like she's moved on too fast. But my whole thing is you are moving on too fast. You already called the man the, your your boyfriend. And he and you're, you're going there all the way three weeks. You got two kid, children to think about. And they're young kids at that. It's not like they're like teenagers or something. These are like really young children. And you're leaving them to be with a man that you barely know. Like he's good looking and everything. But when you look at him, you can tell he's vain. He's uh, what you would call a streamer. You know, when you go on these different services and you stream. So he's a streamer. You know, when men and certain females from other countries stream, they show their body and they do little things to earn gifts and stuff. So you could tell, like, he's very into himself. And he's he's he's, he's a handsome guy. But you got to be careful with those kind of people because you never uh, uh know. So next scene, they, they show Gino... And Gino's girlfriend is from the Panama, and her name is Jasmine. I'm finally getting her name because I kept, like, every time I write my notes, I kept writing the wrong name and kept calling her Jennifer Jessica. I don't know why I kept calling her that. But her name is Jasmine. And basically, he was in the salon looking at some hair tape extensions for his girl or whatever. And he's talking about how it's so expensive, and he's going to buy her one little clip. So he sent a picture to to just J- jasmine basically and then she's talking about oh she need all of it it's like for all of the extension pieces it costs like 300 and something dollars and my whole thing is she has long hair but i know sometimes you want to switch it up but yeah that is a lot of money the man done already this man is sending this girl money he doing this he doing that but their fian that's his fiance so i guess he's supposed to do pay for that so he's from michigan and they're engaged or whatever so he's been spending money on her and she, to me you know, he likes her, and he's talking about how feisty and passionate Latina she is. She's from a Panama, and how much he really likes her or what have, and how they've had a lot of ups. You know, he's visited a bunch, of, like, three times thus far. So he's visited her a bunch of times already. So he's talking about how they had some good times, they had some bad times. And from what I'm seeing, she thinks that this man is made out of money and that he's a cash cow and he's rich or something. The man just changed his career to take care of her. Like, this man has no money like that. And she's expecting this man to pay for her apartment, pay for these extensions here. That's 300 something dollars. She's expecting to pay for this, pay for that. And it's just like, girl, he's not made out of money. I don't know what you think you're doing but yeah she's do, doing a little bit too much. but he's being a little bit desperate in my opinion because he could find a woman that's just like that that is latina in the u.s that's just like how she is in the u.s and he wouldn't have a problem why he wants to go all the way to his to panama and spend all this money for someone when he could do the same thing and spend the same amount of money with a U.S. woman, doesn't make sense. And mind you, this woman is not feminine at all. She's very pushy. She's very, like, feisty. She's very, like, crude. She got a smart mouth. She cursing at this man. She's very, like, like fiery at the mouth. Like, she ain't no timid feminine woman. Like, she's a beautiful woman, you know. She has a really beautiful body and things like that. She's in shape and stuff like that. But the woman is not feminine at all. Like, what? And there's nothing wrong with not being feminine because everybody has masculine feminine energies in them anyway. So maybe she just she just a little bit like too much for me. I just feel like she just with him to get into the U.S. Like she really don't care. She really doesn't like him because in the episode later in the episode, you see who she dated before him. He looks way better than him. I'm like, girl, mm-mm. she trying to get into the U.S. She using him for a green card. I don't care what she say. She is using him. Girl, bye. She trying to get into the U.S. She'll do anything to be with him. She'll take anything. Because in the episode when he say he had rough times with her, he sent a ex-girlfriend explicit pictures that she had sent to him. He sent to his ex-girlfriend. The ex-girlfriend contacted her, and then they got into it. And it basically got into it, and she was so upset because she said, I trusted you. How are you sending explicit pictures that I sent specifically to you and sending it to your ex-girlfriend? Like, what are you doing? So they got into it, and she got mad or whatever at him, and she was crying. And then, you know, she was ready to beat, his, beat him up. 
basically and then the people you know the camera people there so they're like oh whoa, 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 you can't do that you can't do that so then they stopped it or whatever and then she said i don't want to give her up on her. you you i'm like girl bye if any other man did that to you you would have given up on him you just trying to get to the u.s girl you are clear as day what you're about you are money hungry you want all the money you can get from this man and you want to go to the u.s you're tired of being where you're at you're trying to move to the u.s and it's not because you want to be with him it's because you are think that he is a cash cow you're using him and he's acting like he is you know i don't like using the word simp but he is simping because my whole thing is he ha doesn't have the money so he should just be 100 i don't have the money i can't do that just be and if she really cares about you she would understand it but she's not understanding and she's pushing you to give and give and give and you can't afford it you have to get a job to just to take care of this woman that you can't afford that's ridiculous no he's dumb she's using him for his money she's trying to get that green card so he's gonna get used and it's just up to him and then basically during that same trip after they had the conflict and she said i don't give up but then you uh -huh. you know she applied basically he applied for it right when he came back he proposed to her during the trip and then he applied for the k-1 visa or whatever it's been 12 months and it still hasn't been approved so she's getting upset too also with him because it hasn't been approved but my whole thing about it with him is that he needs to stop because in the episode he kept talking about oh i checked and it didn't get approved but you know we could just continue to go on with it again and just wait and wait you first of all he not being realistic telling this girl that he shouldn't have told he should have just told her that it didn't get approved and that the k-9 visa takes a while to get approved because there's other people before them you know how many people thousands upon thousands of about thousands of people are applied for that visa to get to the USA based off of saying that they found somebody somewhere else in another country or continent and they want to marry them and come to the U.S. and they have to consider those other people before you so there's so many people that came before them so that's what's taking so long but he's not telling her the truth about what's going on he's just like giving her these these information in her head and and she's getting really frustrated because she's not staying in like you know permanent housing right now she keeps staying in like a temporary housing so i guess it's like month to month because she's she thinks that she's gonna get the visas gonna come through faster than than not and she doesn't want to sign a full year at least and then it ends up coming then she has to stay there that's why so that's what the issue is and then she they basically having you know sex issues and then she's trying to get a tightening surgery was showing like to get her thing down there to be tighter so it's like she's more of like a, a virgin again or something like that i'm like yeah she's a little bit too wild for me you know after you have kids you know you can't you get the tight i said girl you shouldn't be doing all of this for this man because you don't know if you and gina's even gonna gino's even gonna make it nowhere so why are you doing all of this and messing yourself up down there what if something happens to you in that area down there gets sensitive so She's doing a little bit too much. Next person they introduce is Riley. And his girl that he's talking to, she is in Vietnam. And she is Violet. That's her name. And he's basically talking about his love for music and all of that. So he has a dog named Myla. And he works for public safety for the government. And he was in the military at one time. So basically he was talking about how in his past relationship he was with a girl in the service and how you know they didn't work out he thought that they were going to be together forever but she cheated on him and he came to to find her one day at her place and he was like he came in there and he went to her bedroom and there was a man in her closet someone that he introduced her to so she was cheating on him with someone that they both knew of so he went on a Vietnamese um app and he met Violet on there and since he couldn't sleep because of what he was going through the stress. He was basically talking to her and she's in her 40s and he doesn't basically he's been talking with her for two years and she's hilarious. And he calls her like they basically he calls her very mean, but nice at the same time. So she's the nicest jerk he knows. That's basically what he was saying. And basically they show that they care about each other by putting their middle finger up at each other. I said how very immature and childish for both of them and kind of weird like if you care about someone why don't you just say you care about them how immature it is it to say you hate somebody when you really like them like that's that's back to elementary school like when a boy liked you instead of just saying he liked you he would punch you or kick you or make fun of you but he really liked you like 
that's their relationship, immature and childish. Like, it was real stupid video chatting someone, and that's what they're doing, putting their middle finger up at each other and being real childish. And he seems like a nice guy. He's really cool, but he's immature a little bit. Like, why are you doing that? Why don't you just say you like her if you like her? Like, I don't understand the whole point of doing that. Like, if you like the person, just say you like them. I hate that when people act like they're immature and kids, and it's just real stupid. So, next scene, they show Amanda um, telling her friend how she can't wait to see her boyfriend. And she's got, she basically wants to go get a spray tan because she's so pale. Girl, that's your skin type. You're pale. You're not meant to be tan. See, putting all those chemicals on themselves. And then when they get cancer and all types of stuff, they'll complain. Oh, I don't know why I put on my UV ray. I put on my whatever, my sunscreen. No, you're going to get spray and tan. You know what chemicals is in spray and tanning? And my thing is that she went and got the spray tan and she barely got color. She looked the same color as when she went in. So there was no point of her getting spray tan. She didn't change no color. Like I'm understanding that. She looks just as pale as she came in. Like, I didn't understand that. And then she was talking about, her friend was talking about how she feels like she's moving too, too, too fast with this guy. She's already, like, like getting real serious with him. She's going to see him for three weeks. And, like, she's really, like, confused about their relationship. And she doesn't know, like, like she thinks that she's basically using him to get old, like, not to deal with the fact of the loss of her husband and how... She hasn't dealt with it, and then she feels like she needs to be by herself and deal with the loss. Because it's been a year, and she's already trying to move on already. So, and um, her friend Amanda is just basically telling the friend that she thinks that she needs a man to raise her children. Like, she can't take her place of of her husband because he, you know, he's a guy, and she doesn't know how to do it alone. But my whole thing is that those kids have the memories of their dad, so they'll never forget him. He'll always be in their minds because they've been raised with him for some time now. So you moving on is not a problem. My thing is, like, you're rushing everything. You need to relax. So next person they talk with is Tyree, and his girl is Carmela, and she lives in Barbados, and he's very um dorky. He said he started talking about his life and basically how he, from a, a young age, since he was like, he said 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm like, okay, which age was it? But when he was young, I would say he said boo became his comfort early on and due to rejection. You know, he basically hasn't, because of his size, been able to get a girl to give him any attention. He had to mention that he's 33 years old and he's still a virgin. So, he basically is like, you know, ha- has trouble. He's very awkward in social situations, basically. And he's so very shy. And because of his size, he's very... I think that he's embarrassed because of his size. So, he has a hard time getting attention from women. So, that's the reason why it's been all this time that he hasn't got any from anybody. And then now, you know, his mom lives with him because, you know, she needs support. And she needs somebody to help her because she just had a stroke. And she had gotten the tumor taken out from then. She had a stroke. So he's taking care of her. And so he really doesn't um, have the time to meet anybody locally because he's taking care of his mom all the time. And he used to be a claims rep for insurance, but now he takes care of his mom 100% because she needs him. So he was talking about the fact his dad was murdered due to a disagreement with someone at a party and how that happened when he was like four years old. So, Carmela, the girl that he loves, she's a goddess. That's what he said. And Carmela's 27 years old, and he met her on an online site. And they've been talking for four years on Snapchat. When I hear, he says this is his soulmate. He said that it warms his heart. And how she's going to go to school, and she's not working. She's doing hair, here and there. What it gives to me from his situation is because while he was on, you know, the other two people I told you about, they video chatted the people that they were talking to. But with his situation, she doesn't like to video chat. What I got from his, I got catfish teas. He needs to be on the show Catfish and needed Neve and and the girl that works with Neve now to investigate his situation because he's clearly in a catfish situation because everybody else on the show, they video chat, they significant others, and they text, they video chat, they talk on the phone. He's the only person that just does Snapchat text messages. I'm just like, sir, catfish, 
whoever you talking to ain't the person in the picture, sir. Because first of all, everybody else thus far, the two couples that have already come have shown the significant others. They've gotten pictures of them. They see them. They video chat with them. We've seen them talk with them. We've seen them. The last couple of people, like three people already have shown the people. You're the only person that hasn't seen the person. And you've been talking to her for four years and you've never video chatted her. She doesn't want to video chat. She's because she's uncomfortable and I don't know. He's talking about that he wants to get married to her. The emotions are there. And that they had, you know, naughty sessions. And I said, sir, are you even sure that you're even talking to a woman? Because my whole thing is it's been four years. How in four years hasn't you, haven't you video chatted her at least once? Yeah, that's giving me catfish. Lying about who I am, tease. I'm not who I say I am. I'm using you. I'm not interested in really t- divulging my who I really am. I'm just trying to get some bread out of you. And the person already made it clear and, and clear that they're not working. So they're trying to find a way to scam you out of some money as well because they're not working. They're claiming, oh, I'm going to go to school. I do hairstyling here and there. Scam. Sorry, sir. Scam. Scam. So next scene is Gino and Jasmine get into it. Basically get into it because she wants the visa to be approved and he wants to support her. So he got a new job as an automotive mechanic, you know. And then, like, he was showing her his new fit because she doesn't like the way he dressed because he kind of does dress kind of lame and dorky. Like he, but you know, that's him. Some people, that's just their style. That's just his style. So he upped his style a little bit because he, he wanted her to stop making fun of him basically because he doesn't dress the way that she likes or what she's used to. So he stands up and he's showing like, look, look, look at my clothes. Look at my shorts. Don't you like, he says, show me your nipples. And he's just like, oh no, I don't do that. And I'm like, uh oh. She said, you're so boring. So basically she was asking him about what happened with the, the K the K visa or whatever, seeing if it got approved or not. He said he checked and it's not approved. And she said, this is like giving me stress. And, you know, I keep having to change where I live at, you know, because I'm thinking that I'm going to get proof any day. But that's his fault because even when he was talking to her during video chat, he's going to tell her, oh, well, it's going to get approved in the next 30 days. He doesn't know that. It hasn't been approved since how long? For over a year or so. So my whole thing is stop telling her that because this visas take years to get approval sometimes there's so many people applying for it so it takes time for them to look through with people and see who they're going to prove versus who they're not going to prove you you got it's a waiting time limit so he needs to stop telling her that because she's getting all excitable thinking that something's finna happen that's not finna happen like sir stop telling her that he's killing me i'm like you're giving her very unrealistic standpoint and then she basically asked him like i need you to get me this apartment and it's in this nice place it's three thousand a month a two bedroom he said why can't you do one bed no i'm not doing one bedroom someone's living with me she full of shit she probably not living with nobody she just wanted two bedrooms so she could have space just because she's very very needy and she's very money hungry like if he doesn't see that this is she's using him for money and he's simpy simpy that's on him. I'm just like, you get what you're getting because you're very simp-like, you know? You're very simp, simp, simpy, simpy, got that. You know? So the next person that they bring on the scene, we see us, our guy, David. And David is deaf. And he's been that way since he's been born. He was the only one in his family that was deaf. So his family sent him to a boarding school and he was there basically so he was basically 18 years old and then he left the boarding school he now lives in he's originally from chattanooga tennessee and he now lives in omaha nebraska he works two jobs he's a cleaner at a casino and a stocker at a grocery store he was born and raised like i said chattanooga he moved to omaha nebraska by himself he's been living here for a while on his own and he did say in the past he was in a relationship with a deaf woman and that they were doing good but the problem is is that she cheated on him and he found out so now you know it really hurt him real bad so now you know he's found this girl named sheila and she, you know and she's hearing impaired she wasn't born without hearing she when she was six lost her hearing at six years old so he talks 
you know, he's talking to the bartender at the restaurant and telling him how he's going to see Sheila and he's will propose to have everything goes good. And then he was asked, the bartender was asking him how he feels about their relationship and if he's feeling like he's being realistic about everything. He says yes, but he said, I do have some concerns, so I'm going to go there to see what it's like, you know? And if everything pans out, you know, basically he'll propose to her. And then he was talking about how he sent her money because of, like, she had, like, a typhoon hit where she lives at and how she had, like, these disasters that happened and she needed some money. So he sent her basically all together after he talked to her for a whole year. She didn't ask for anything. But I guess after the typhoon and things like that, she asked him for some money, sent her 3000 all together. I said, damn, you know, I should be like some of these people and and scam me, scam me. So I could get 3000 out of somebody and pretend I'm somebody else and take some pictures and trick people. And G somebody up and get me some three thousand dollars out of somebody. These people throwing three thousand dollars and money out to people like it's nothing or something. I'm like, mm. So next scene, Riley's telling his friends he meets them at like this place and he's telling his friends about her like lying and how you know he really likes it first he's talking about how he likes her he can't wait to see her he's gonna visit her in the next couple of days but he said you know he does have some concerns that he wants to come get through before and they're like what concerns what you mean and then he was like how she basically he asked her if she was divorced and how he kept asking kept asking and how she would keep playing around and pretending like like oh, oh oh like you know basically avoiding it and acting like he wasn't asking her and not responding or answering the question but then like a couple like after three months they were talking then she was talking about oh yeah my divorce is now finalized so she should have just responded and said no the, the divorce is not all the way finalized as of yet we're going through the process like what was the reason behind lying about that like that was so stupid Next thing she lied about was being off the dating app. So they both said that since they're being serious and taking the situation serious to get off. So he got off the dating app. So he thought that she got off. But since she lied about that one thing already, he said, let me check and see. So he got back on the app, I guess. And he found her on there under a different name. I said, so she's lying again. So... And he was just, like, not understanding, like, why do you f- do you feel the need to lie to me? And then the friends were like, this is not good. Like, you were just in a, they were saying in confession, like, he was just in a relationship with a service girl. It didn't work out. And then, like, a couple weeks later, now he meets this girl on this BMEs app. Not even, uh, like, just like a week later. So it's like, not enough time, and this is not good. She's lying about a whole bunch of stuff. That's crazy. And then during... Next scene, you have Amanda talking about how sad she, you know, how she can't wait to see him. And then she gets help being taken to the airport or what have. So she's hugging her kids or whatever, and she's going to the airport. So she's on her way. Next scene is during production, the producers uncover info about Ty Ray's girl from Carmella that that he didn't know they take him aside and say let's go outside because you know his mom stays with him so they didn't want her to hear so they take him outside and then Carmela hasn't been truthful with who she is about about who she is as a person she's been message that you've been messaging with they basically tell him that the person you're talking to is not the person who they say they are they said that they they text her or contacted her and basically they got in contact and then over time the person the person that they're talking to admits that they're not the same person the pics that that's being sent to him is not the same person that that he's talking to basically the person admitted that they're not who you think it is it's a man I said, I knew it was catfish because how can you be talking to someone for four years and they never video chat with you? Every person on this show that's shown been a couple have all video chatted each other or been talking on video chat multiple times and talking on the phone and then talking on text. He's only talking to her through Snapchat. And you know, if you message through Snapchat, those messages go can go in and out and delete. Like, once you go out of your message, it will delete the message out. Snapchat is a way for people to cheat on people and stuff like that. And people can scam you and all types of stuff on Snapchat. So when I found that out, I wasn't surprised because this seemed like a catfish situation to me. Because how are you talking to someone and they never want to video chat you? That's kind of suspect to me. Like, that's someone that's supposed to want to be with you long term. But then they're, like, basically not 
showing their face. So why would you even want to get married or be in a relationship with someone that's not being 100 about who they are? So I thought that was kind of like, kind of, kind of crazy. But I'm like, I, I'm not surprised. I knew it was catfish. He should have called me even and, and the girl that works with him now so that they can investigate because that was definitely a catfish situation. But then they show scenes and he, like for the next episode, he doesn't want to believe what the producers just told them. And they got the information from the phone number of the person that's talking to him. They admitted it already to him. And he's telling, talking about it's not true and that it has to be a person in the pictures. You never video chatted the person, Tyree. Okay, you 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 want to be in denial. I see. You wanna you wanted to be that woman so bad, but it's not her. And no offense to you, you're not cute. So I'm so sorry. You can't get no girl that looks like that. Not to be be hurting talking about someone, but he cannot get a girl that's like that. So I'm gonna need him to live in reality. You cannot get no girl that looks like that. You're thirty something years old and you've never gotten a girl that's like that. So what made you think that you'll talk to a girl in Barbados and a woman like that's gonna talk to you? Like be one thousand with yourself. Let's be real. I'm just saying, like you're 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 on some simping type things. You're on some simping type times. Like you're living in denial and you're living in a false reality. I'm sorry, sir. You're not like it's not he he he's a he looks like a teddy bear like she's the person said but my thing is like he can't get no girl that looks like that the pictures that they show that girl looks looks very very young and she's very cute no he can't get no girl that that's that cute looking not saying he's bad looking because he's okay looking he's actually okay he's average looking he's not bad looking but I'm just saying he doesn't have confidence and because he doesn't have confidence a woman like that looks like that. You have to have a certain confidence and a certain kind of money to get a girl like that. And where he found this person at, he really didn't say the website he went on to get her. He just said that they were conversing after they met on the app on Snapchat. So we don't know even know what website he found her on. So my whole thing is, you did it to yourself, sir. You're doing, a, yeah, you, you were being a little bit desperate. So that's what I think about the episodes. A lot of lies and trickery is a lot of, men, the men on here are simping and being used for money and these women are trying to get here to like two of them you can already tell they're trying to use use the Gino's girl is trying to use him to get the the green card so that she could come here and dump his ass and then that girl Violet girl she's basically on the website trying to use any and everybody for money and Riley already admitted that he sent her money. She's on there talking to Jones and with every and anybody. She's not taking him serious. She's just saying that he's her boyfriend, but she's not taking him serious. She's using him for money. That's what she's using him for. But tell me what you think about my recap, review, and like, comment, subscribe. And this is your girl, Goddess Galaxy.